welcome back to Dirty Water Coins and Collectibles. I was able to pick up $200 in quarters. That was all they had. Uh, just a second ago, I went through $130 in dimes. It really wasn't enough for a video, but I did get a couple of foreigns. Um, a five pence. 1990 it looks like we have a five pence 2012 and this one I have no idea I think this one's pretty chewed 2001 maybe 2001 um, it looks like maybe a dragon or something on there I don't know what that is but the reason why I'm bringing you in for this is because I did get two silver dimes. I got a 1943 KG6, which is awesome. Look at that. 80% silver. I'm not sure the last time I found a Canadian silver. King George, that's awesome. And then a 1950S... Roosevelt dime 90% silver so I just wanted to bring you in to show you those those will end up going into the silver jar and uh, let's get into this quarter hunt be right back working on roll one I have an Eleanor Roosevelt under the scope with a potential DDR right here in the weight this looks like normal thickness for the actual design so i i don't think it's machine doubling because that would take away from the design so i think i think it's doubling so i'm going to go with a ddr on this I'm trying to see if i can get it any different than the lighting I don't know. I'm going to go with DDR on that. Let me know if you think otherwise. And why. Let me know why, because I would like to know. All right, let's keep it going. Be right back. I'm on roll six, and I have a Helen Keller under... Well, not under the scope, but this has some really cool purple toning, and I can't get it on film. not showing up usually when I zoom in I can get it to show up but it's not happening Old Washington ear looks really thick but anyway I'm gonna hold this one aside just because of the toning but unfortunately you can let me see if I can turn the light down Nope. All right. Be right back. Working on roll 14. And we have a weir farm with the broken branch. Be right back. Still working on roll 14. I think two coins later. I have a 2005 Kansas with an Endoweust. So right in this area here, even out here. This is partially grease strike, but you can see the I is almost missing. The G, the O, the T, and the R are just about missing. So that's a grease strike era. So grease filled the areas up in that in that die. So the letters are partially missing. That's a cool find. We'll put this one aside. Some of the T and Y are missing. Like a something's going on right here by the neck. All right, let's keep her going. So that two hundred dollars wasn't enough. There really wasn't any fines. So before work today, I picked up another three hundred and thirty dollars worth. So make it a five hundred and thirty dollar hunt. Hopefully, we can find some stuff here. 
As always, we're looking for silver, W's, proofs, foreigns, errors, varieties. Not necessarily in that order. But uh, let's get into these rolls, and hopefully we can find something cool. I will bring you back in with the first find. I'm on the sixth roll for the second half of this hunt. I have a 2020 Weir Farm under the scope. It is not the broken branch. If I flip it over and spin the coin around, we have a clash die. So there's clashing right in here and then here. You can see when I rotate the coin, you see it the best like right there. Might be something in between the I and the B a little bit. But we do have a clash die. So I'll hold this aside. And I'll be back with the next find. See you in just a second. I'm on the eighth roll for part two of this hunt. I have a, what is this, a 2022 Maya Angelou with a clash die. So you can see clashing here. It's clashing right in here. We have some feeder finger marks right there. And some more right here but if I flip the coin over you can see the clashing on the obverse right here which is part of a wing I believe but also we have this massive herpes die chip right here on the side of the mouth that is not supposed to be there this thing is kind of riddled with errors. We'll hold this one aside. I don't come across these clashes for the Maya Angelou all that often. But with that die chip, it's kind of cool. So I'll put that one aside. Keep hunting this roll. If I come across anything else, or when I come across something else, I'll bring you in for it. Be right back. I'm on the 12th roll for the second half of this hunt. Uh, I have something silvery. The reading looks good. So let's see if it's silver or if it's a uh, foreign. Oh, I think it's foreign. 2008. Well, that's a bummer. That's our second foreign for the hunt. I did just find a 1979 and no silver. Okay, Be back with the next find. 13th roll. I have a 2012 Denali under the scope. And could this be doubling right here? I know there's a whole bunch with doubling in the neck. But what is that? I don't know what that... I think that's a double die. I'm going to have to look this up. I think that might be a double die. Alright, we're going to leave it here. Let me zoom out. If this is a known double die, I will put the variety number right down here. Huh. There's something right there too. I don't know if that's like a die crack. Die dent. <clears throat> I don't know. But uh, let's figure out what this one is. Be back with the next find. Same roll as that Denali. I have a 2022 Sally Ride, and if I flip it over, we have a massive herpes die chip again. So we'll hold that one aside. That one's big. I didn't see anything else. Let's keep the hunt going. Bring you in with the next find. 
still on the same roll as Denali, the die chip. And now we have a crossing the Delaware. Nope, it's not a double die. We have a decent sized die chip in the hat. We have a die chip that comes from here, comes back, comes up around, and then back under. That's a fairly decent uh, crown die chip. I've been looking for one of these. I found, I have found a half crown, so it comes up about in this area here. Uh, I have never found the full cheeseburger die chip. This is probably the second or third largest die chip for this coin that I have found. And it's pretty big. All right, let's keep it going. Roll number 14. And I have another one of these Teddy Roosevelt's with the lines in the river. That's not why I'm bringing you in. I just noticed something because I checked another one that I have held aside. But we have the lines. One, two, three, four, five. Um, I checked the horse's jaw. And that could be doubling right there. And I don't believe this one's listed. Because there is one, there is one with doubling in the horse's jaw. Pretty much comes around. And minor doubling in the bushes. Which I'm not really seeing the one that's listed. I think it has doubling in like this bush here. I don't think that area right there is doubling. I'll double check <clears throat> that particular one that has the doubling in the jawline. But I don't think it's this one. And that looks like doubling to me. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. But that definitely has the look of doubling. Let's see if there's anything else out of the ordinary. All right, let's keep it going. Roll number 18. I have a 2021 Philly Tuskegee Airmen under the scope. It is not a burning building. But if I flip this over, we have Clash Die. Very minor one. This is really all I'm seeing on this particular variety I don't see anything else but it is a clash and the coin itself is actually in pretty good shape I'm not seeing really much else with the clash in terms of the clash nothing in the word in God we trust there's usually some clashing in there under the neck, there's just a little bit of feeder finger lines, but not really any clashing. But still a cool find. Hold this one aside. Keep her going. Roll number 25, and I have a 2023 Kanaka Ole with doubling in the hair right in here. So I found a whole bunch of these um, a few weeks ago. Like over a roll's worth. It's not confirmed doubling, but it I believe it's doubling. So we're gonna hold this one aside. Let's keep it going. Alright, that's it for the second half of this hunt. The other 33 rolls have been hunted. I have all of my stuff up here. But before I get into that, before I set this up for the final wrap-up, um today is Saturday. March 9th, 10.56 p.m. And in a few hours, we have to set our clocks ahead an hour for tomorrow morning. And I want to know how many of you forgot to set your clock ahead. I know most of our electronic devices do it on their own. But some of us who use alarm clocks, I am not one of those. Um, I don't sleep very well as it is. <clears throat> but who forgot to set their clocks ahead? Who woke up late? Um, I want to know, because it always seems to be an issue 
every few months, every, uh, I don't know, is it like seven months or something like that, that we have to do our clocks ahead, clocks back. Um, but put it down in the comments if you forgot or if you remembered. If you woke up late, you woke up on time. <clears throat> Let me get this set up. I'll bring you back in for the wrap up. All right, 53 rolls hunted. And here's our finds. We only came across three pictured rocks out of Philadelphia. And per usual, none of them had the DDO. But we're still looking. I came across two Canadians, a 1979 and a 2008 that is in rough shape. This Alabama with the purplish toning, it's still not really showing up, but you can kind of see it around the edges. There's like that bluish color, and down here there's that bluish color, but it's just not showing up. A little bit there. So I'm going to hold this aside. I guess it shows up kind of in there. I had two nice condition coins. I had a Yellowstone 2010 and a 2015 Homestead. They were a bunch of these. Um, and I was hoping for one of the nice pump handles. It was also a bunch of Hopper's Ferries in great condition, but none of them had the DDR. Um, I have a decent condition 1968. I will check against the album. A couple of nice Bicentennials. This one here being the better of the two. And then a whole bunch of varieties. 2023, this was the double hair. I'm going to try to remember all of these. Um, I think this one was the Clash in Liberty. Let me see if that's correct. Nope, it was the Clash in the neck. That's the Clash. You can see it from here right there. This has had the five lines and I think double jaw, die chip in the hat, uh, die chip in the mouth, doubling on the shoulder, die chip in the mouth, and clash die right behind the ear. This is the clash by Liberty, I believe. Yeah, that's the Clash by Liberty. Uh, this was the In Da We Ust. We have a broken branch. And we had potential doubling down in the bowl, the weight here, on the Eleanor Roosevelt. So I ended up with a, uh, quite a few finds. So it didn't end up being a bad hunt. If you made it this far... And you're watching, and you didn't oversleep. I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing if you have subscribed. If you're not subscribed, please do that. It's free. I post a video every day. Uh, or at least I try to. My average is pretty good. Uh, please hit that notification bell. And as always, tap that like button. Again, thank you for watching. See you on the next one.